This is Tommy Watt for TTT Boxing and IFL TV. I'm joined by Joseph Parker's trainer, Kevin Barry. We're here on the Jeff Horn Gary Corcoran card. How you doing, mate? Well, I'm doing very well. So it's um, exciting times in the Parker camp right now. It really is. Edging ever closer to a decision on, yeah. uh, on closer Joseph. Closer by the day. Part. And that's what I understand, is what I keep reading. So can you give us uh, an inkling as to, to what's going on at the moment? What, what are we waiting for? How close are we? No, I tell you what, we're feeling very, um, very confident and very comfortable with the way negotiations are going at the moment. I think the... Uh, I think the fight's going to happen. I think it's a fight that the boxing world want to see. I think it's a fight that the heavyweight division really needs. It's been seven years since we've had a unification fight in the heavyweight division, and uh, boxing needs a fight like this. So we've been talking about this fight, you know, uh, Joseph Parker and Anthony Joshua for the last two years, um, since Joe was uh, the mandatory with yeah. the IBF before we took the route with yeah, the, the WBO. Yeah. You know, so... Um, this fight stacks up very well. It's an exciting fight. It's two, two undefeated fighters, two guys who are relatively young in their professional careers, two guys who are nowhere near the finished product, mm. and uh, two very good punches with an undefeated record. It's a great fight. It's an exciting fight and one that we're looking forward to. And it's an easy sell, and it's obviously in their respective countries, they're absolute superstars already. Uh, but an interesting thing we've seen whilst this has been going on is Neither fighter previously has really had anything to say in the media bad about anyone else's. They've been very professional and that side of things, but both of them seem to have bit a little bit when it comes to AJ, when it comes to Parker. They both seem to have that little bit of needle, which could make that build up all the more interesting. Look, there's been some fun banter going backwards and forwards on social media, and I think both guys have a lot of respect for each other, but this is a fight that needs to be made. This is a fight that we need to put on the map, and we believe the way that both guys have conducted themselves over the last six weeks in particular, we have had put the fight on the map. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's been, so, it's been talked uh, about every day I mean, in both countries, I think. This is, this is a promotion. This is a rather large promotion, and it's no good, you know, saying, telling each other how wonderful you are. And well, this morning we heard that Tyson Fury is now back in contention and allowed to fight again. Fantastic is, news. I was going to say, does that put a spanner in the works? Because he's obviously going to need a comeback fight, so I assume that doesn't have too much bearing on AJ Parker. Look, we are absolutely thrilled for Tyson that he's got his uh, license back. You know, Tyson's always been a, a great supporter of uh, Joseph yeah. Parker and our whole team, and we've had the utmost respect for him. So we're thrilled that his career is back and uh, excited about seeing him in the ring in 2018. And do you think that he's still up there with the best, with, say, with AJ, with Parker, with Deontay Wilder in the, in the well, heavyweight he's division? A, he's a young guy, a very large <laughs> young guy, who's undefeated and uh, who had all the belts for a while. Yeah. So he has, a, you know, he's going to be very, very hard for anyone to beat. And it's a, he's a fighter that uh, puts a lot of excitement and, and a lot of uh, personality into the heavyweight division. Yeah, no, no doubt. And, and if, if Parker was to come through that Joshua fight, is, is, would Fury be next on the radar, potentially? Well, you know, who knows? One fight of the time. <laughs> yeah, we're looking a bit far ahead there. But thanks a lot for your time, Kevin. I know you're in demand today. And uh, so a very busy couple of weeks for yourself probably as well. And uh, look, fingers crossed we hear some, uh, some good news in the meantime. So just before you do go, if that fight for some reason doesn't happen, am I right in thinking that Lucas Brown is the, the, the other option that's being discussed at the moment? Uh, it's, a, it's a fighter that we're, that we're definitely looking at. And uh, you know, that, that's a possibility. We think this fight's going to happen. We yeah. think that uh, the Joshua camp want the fight to happen. The Parker camp want the fight to happen. We've been going back and forwards with the negotiations over the percentage amount. We're very close. I think the fight will happen. Let's hope so. It'll be a great fight if it does happen. Hopefully we'll catch up with you then or, or closer to the time. Sure. And uh, thanks a lot for your time. Pleasure. Cheers, Kevin.